Welcome to the Rink Report presented by Tell Ohio Credit Union and Kids Takeover Day presented by Bob Evans. Dylan Tyre here with you ahead of today's action between the Blue Jackets and the Edmonton Oilers. The Blue Jackets coming into this one off of a shootout loss to the Ottawa Senators just a couple of nights ago. So they're looking to get back into the win column against Connor McDavid and the Oilers here today. Like I mentioned, Kids Takeover Day presented by Bob Evans. So right now, we're going to throw it over to our kids correspondent, Charlie Meeson, as he chats with Blue Jackets defense Nick Blankenberg. How fun will it be to defend Connor McDavid tonight? Uh, it'll be a pretty cool experience for me and um, obviously he's probably the best player in the world so he'll definitely be a challenge but something I'm looking forward to. Um, how grateful are you, are you um, for the opportunity to play on the Blue Jackets and just two weeks ago you're playing the Frozen Four but how grateful are you now just to play in the NHL? Yeah, well, I was really grateful for my time at Michigan and to be able to have the opportunity to play in the National Hockey League and for an organization as, as good as the Blue Jackets, it's, uh, it's a dream come true for me. So very thankful for all the people in my life who have supported me to get to this point and um, just for all the continued support and love. Um, how, how fun was it playing the F Frozen Four with Michigan? Oh, it was, uh, it was unbelievable. Obviously, as a college athlete playing hockey, it's your goal is to try and win a national championship. And unfortunately, we came up a little short. But just to be able to have that experience with the guys on that team, being able to go to Boston and, and play in TD Garden was definitely something special and something I'll remember forever. Right. Yeah. Thanks again to Kids Correspondent Charlie Meeson chatting with Blue Jackets defenseman Nick Blankenberg. And for more on today's action between the Blue Jackets and the Edmonton Oilers, we'll throw it over to Bob McElligot and Jean-Luc Grandpierre. Well, Jean-Luc, uh, lineup change for the Blue Jackets tonight. An injured player gets back in, and that is Yegor Chinikov. He's been out for the last couple of weeks. This guy has shown uh, some really great hockey sense this year. We know that he's got a great shot, and he's got an offensive upside. How good is it to get him back four games left in the season? Well, I think it's great because you don't want to finish the season on the injury uh, reserve. And for him, it's going to be nice to finish the season Get back to speed. He's going to be a little rusty, but be ready for next season. Right now, it's all about the next season for the Blue Jackets. And for Chinnikov, it's a little more experience here. Carson Meyer goes into this game tonight with a chance to pick up some more minutes. Uh, Meyer has been noticeable these last couple of games. What have you liked about his game? Well, for me, I look at Carson Meyer, and he's not the biggest guy, but last game we saw him throw a couple of thunderous hit, and it uh, looked like it hurts. He's not afraid of traffic, and through simplicity, he creates a lot of scoring chances as well. So the finishing touch, not quite there yet, but he's setting up his teammate really well. When you look at the Edmonton Oilers, you look at their top two centermen. Connor McDavid on the top line, he's got 43 goals on the year. Leon Dreisaitl, he's on the second line, he's got 54 coming into this game tonight. That means your defensive structure had better be good. It's got to be good, and when you can have a guy with over 100 points on your second line with 54 goals, uh, you know you have that luxury. And for the Blue Jackets, it's about managing the puck well because it's a team that thrives on transition, so you have to be really careful and take care of that puck. And we talk about that, but good teams like this, they've got four lines. They're going to roll four lines at you. So even when those guys aren't on the ice, that doesn't mean you can take a breath, right? Yeah, it's a team that can be physical if needed, and they have a lot of speed throughout their lineup from top to bottom. And then one last thing. You want to stay out of the box here. This is a team that strikes 25 over 25% on the power play. So if you're the Blue Jackets, you want to stay disciplined. All right, that's the way we see it. For John Luke Grandpierre, I'm Bob McElligot. Dylan, back to you. Thanks again to Bob and John Luke, as that will do it for the Rink Report presented by Tell Ohio Credit Union. Once more, I'm Dylan Tyre saying enjoy the game.